WHPR TV is now on demand. Catch us when you want, how you want, where you want. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Watch your favorite TV shows on demand. And be sure to download the WHPR app. We're now on demand at your demand. WHPR TV Detroit on demand.com, a Watkins Broadcasting Company. Total Home Improvement Company presents the Spring Blowout Special of the Season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313 728 2025 for your free in home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313 728 2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. You're watching United Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion TV! See, I'm a gangster with God, and I'm spreading the word. Right. Truth be told, that's right, truth be heard. No matter what your gift is, it's made to see. So give it up that's for right. victory. You know the gospel explosion. Come TV, you know the gospel explosion. Come TV, on. you know the gospel explosion. If you don't know, you should know, and now you know. You tuned in to United Gospel Explosion TV, and you are something special. We got a special very special broadcast today and we're dealing with the situations and circumstances in our community and in fact in the world now that we're fighting and striving to under overcome and it dropped into my spirit that the 97 some the 27 psalms and it opens saying the lord is my light and my salvation amen we holding on to that today more than ever that the Lord is our light and our salvation. Then the next word say, whom shall we fear? Amen. Amen. It's a lot of fear out there in the community today. It's a lot going on. And I know many of you would be justified feeling fear right now. But that's not the spirit that God had for us. And I'm going to open up where I have my special guests from me, Reverend Biles and my sister, Evangelist Denise Ogwa. And... Uh, Open it on up to the magic of TV back there. I want them to see their faces with me. I can't do this, but amen. 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 Praise God. God bless amen. you, man of God. Having you back off the road. Praise God. He's amen. been super busy. You know, you know, he he one of our partners in ministry here. He's amen. been super busy yes, sir. traveling and doing God's work. And uh, you know, I feel a tingle today. Something's good gonna happen out of this show. Amen. 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 Because uh, the enemy will have us to feel fear or to feel like we've lost when you see some of the circumstances right. that's going on in our community. But I'm saying that the devil's a liar. We have not lost. We're going to look at this thing from a spiritual, prophetic, as well as a, um, a biblical um, and, and scriptorial. Amen. Because as we're going into this, the Lord is my light and my salvation, Amen. I just want to give y'all just just something. And this is the food that we're going off for today. Amen, um, when he's speaking on, he goes on to say, when the wicked, mm. as we see in the world today, people have lost, I'm not going to say they lost, just like we strive for the goodness of the light and you strive for the goodness of God, mm -hmm. the goodness of Christ in your life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, what your religion is, the good, the light size. It's those that the enemy would have, that the devil would have, that's mind has been taken over by darkness. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And they get up and strive to kill and to maim and to and to destroy. Absolutely. It says that. Mm -hmm. So 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 what I'm trying to say, the fight is not ours, the fight belongs to God oh, anyway. Hallelujah. Yes, that's Lord. That's but when he said when they when our enemies and our foes would come against us to eat of our flesh. To eat of our flesh. Mm -hmm. He also say they stumble and fall. Yeah. Woo -wee. Now the phone jumping off the hook right now. That's Thank what he said. Yes, and you are on the air with us today. But when he said that when our enemies would even come against us, yes. diverse in whichever form they came, right. 
that they wouldn't be able to stand there against us. Something would that happen that to make them stumble Amen. and fall. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go on, Amen. brother. I know you can't wait to say well, something. Well, we see it in the life of David. When we look at David, how God had um, elevated him from being a shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And David is the one that pins this song. Mm -hmm. Because David was greatly used by the Lord. Yes, sir. And David suffered greatly yeah. before he was used by the Lord. Absolutely. Amen. And so what we see now is that God is continuing his work through suffering. Mm. Um, you cannot um, be used by God without suffering. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said that if we will follow him, that we must bear our cross. Pick up and that cross means him. that we have an obligation to suffer for what's right. Yes. yes. Now, yes. the country has come a long ways, but yet it has a long ways to go. Absolutely. Yes. Because we still have not dealt sufficiently with a white supremacy, uh, white privilege. You know, yes. there was a 14-year-old boy that wrote a poem. He, he said, uh, I, I'm thankful for my white privilege. I recognize I, I have I got the poem privilege. with me today. And You're others right. need to be truthful about white privilege mm -hmm. and white supremacy. Right. Uh, it, it is a false doctrine because mm -hmm. there can be no supremacy with humanity. Mm -hmm. yes. The supremacy is with God. Yes. God right. created all of us equal. Yes. And so the Lord has to be our light so that we can see the truth. Yes. And that we can recognize that God has empowered us to be here to represent him. Ooh. Darkness represents evil. That's yes. right. And we that's live right. in a world that's full of evil and yes. full of darkness. Yes. Yes. But okay. whenever we show up, we're supposed to shine the light Hallelujah. so that that's they'll right. see God and yes. they'll recognize there's hope for them regardless of their predicament. Now, okay. I seen something earlier this week. Mm -hmm. We've mm -hmm. got to give our young pl people a place for their voice. Mm -hmm. I've yes. seen two or three hundred young people with signs crossing eight miles saying Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely right. And the church ought to be the place mm -hmm. where they can have the platform mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. their voices can be heard and they mm -hmm. can be empowered to know that God wants mm -hmm. them to live long lives. Well, the positive, Let me say this. positive attitude and platitude. Amen. We're in the end times. Yes. And the devil is pouring out his wrath upon mm -hmm. the people of God mm -hmm. so that they won't be able to live up to their potential. If I kill you before you ever begin to live, then how can you accomplish your purpose that mm -hmm. God ever assigned to you? Come That's on, what's happening with a lot on, of our young on, people. Yeah. They're dying way before they ever have an opportunity to live. Mm -hmm. And we want to create an opportunity that they'll be intelligent and wise and overcome the enemy that sometimes in systematic places uh, and high places that the devil have put them in, government yes. officials, yes. Uh, police officials, yes. judicial officials mm -hmm. that have a difference of opinion of what God have put them there for. Absolutely. And so we have to change that by being able to get them to go to court. Here's one thing that Jesus did, and I want to put it out there. Jesus was teaching in the uh, Sermon on the Mount in the yes. fifth chapter of Matthew, about verse 41, and he was teaching his disciples how to overcome the conflict that the Roman centurions would bring against them if they didn't submit to authority. Mm -hmm. All of us are under somebody's authority, yes. right. and we need to know how to submit to authority, whether it be secular authority or spiritual authority, yes, yes, and that's yes. a problem for us yeah. because we walk around a lot of time with our pants hanging down saying, blank this, right. and when we need to recognize that that's saying something about disrespect to Absolutely. our own sake. Absolutely. So we got to help our people understand that authority has to start with you being submitted to what's right. Yes, yeah. right. yes. Exactly. And Doc, and Doc, why are you, why are you, why are you going on? Because you're hitting a lot of points. I just want to digest some of this right now. Let me just make it plain to you, and Sister Denise. I, I know you're burning up, Evangelist. We're gonna bring you right into this. We're living in a time right now where w there's a lot of non-healing that exists. And I was just talking to. Uh, Evangelist Michelle in the front about this, that slavery, racism, all these sores never heal because right. before you heal, first you got to say, I'm sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. Right. We got to use these, these, these powers that God put into. So forgiveness, truth, we got to learn to love each other Absolutely. again. Absolutely. How are you going to love a person when they haven't even said I'm sorry, right. forgive me. Mm -hmm. Open that door, dialogue. Right. And I'm not saying you're, the, you're a person that grew up like this young man in a whole different set of time. Right. But this thing, has ling it lingers in the universe. And spiritually, these powers of hate right. are still there right. because they handed down through generations and generations. Right. Now, I'm going to let us say something to about I'm going to turn it back over I, to let you. Let me on put this scripture to context mm -hmm. for you, and mm -hmm. then you go here. Mm -hmm. Matthew 5, 41 says that, uh, when one compels you to go one mile, go two miles. Mm -hmm. That means that when you learn how to submit authority and you have done what the law said, then they have nothing that they can use against you Absolutely. because you have submitted to the authority that God had put in place and you went the extra mile. That's great. So that's submission. That that's submission.
mission begins to change yep. the trajectory, even yep. of our hearts and our spirits. Absolutely, too. absolutely. Okay. Because we recognize we're under God's control, and then they also recognize that they're under God's control as yes. well as representatives of the law, and absolutely. it's going it's to be seen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sister Denise, go ahead. You give yes, me a, I, I'm just, this is all. She got more than two cents <laughs> worth. But, but, no, but I, it's, but, it's uh, so yeah, true, though. He's all like, they're not so And I think about, I believe, I, like Proverbs um, 16, 7 says, when our ways please the Lord, mm. he can make our enemies be at peace Amen. with us. Amen. But our ways have to please God. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yes, black lives matter. Yes. You know? All lives matter, you know, mm -hmm. but what most matter is prayer life matters. Mm. And we have to make sure we have forgiveness in our heart. You know, yes. you can't even go to God if you haven't forgiven anybody. Absolutely. You know, right. you're you know, why you you going for prayer, but you got a whole lot of hate in your heart. You know, right, right. how is God Praise hearing God. you? You know, Praise you got to forgive, Praise you know. God. So like I say, to, of course, the movement with our children and as, as a mother and a parent, we have to be nosy parents, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We have to know what our children mm -hmm. are doing. You know, Absolutely. we have to know. We have to be sober minded. That's right. what the word of God says. So if my child is bringing something home and I didn't buy it, he didn't get it. Mm. It's not coming in the house, you mm. know. Mm. You know, you have to watch. You have to be nosy. You know, yeah. um, I um, I used to always go through my kids. It. Exactly. Through their book right? bags when they was young. I always go and look and see what kind of homework they had. You know, one mm -hmm. time. I, I, I'm glad I didn't look because my son was in the third grade. Well, he's 24 now in CMU. But he, he had a mouse inside. Oh. His, and I was like, so I'm glad this particular time I didn't look. I'm like, Jesus. He, he said, said, Mama, you know. we had a cat named Pudi. And Pudi right. was like, he was like, Mama, Pudi going to be so happy. Right. I'm like, so yeah. happy. And he showed me his mouse. I'm like, Jesus, Lord. I said, boy, if you don't get that out of there. But other than that, I'll make sure I look. But I didn't look too much. I asked him, you going to take out what you got homework what you got you go in there and get it but um we have to be as um um nosy pair we got to forgive mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the hardest thing sometimes, but put only God on can child. do it. Yes. The Bible says, train them up in the way that's right, and we get all we want to pass from. Right, right, right. Now, now, now Denise, I gotta, I gotta, I know we're gonna be having some things with you with the makeover. So uh -huh. we ain't let go of that makeover okay. that uh, we promised to give you guys. So we're gonna be doing that through Denise. And the ministry is doing something positive in exactly, the community. Exactly, exactly. You ain't exactly. got no ministry if you ain't doing nothing positive Absolutely. in the community. Amen. I'm just Amen. saying that because Jesus did things positive in the community. Amen. He Absolutely. walked, he talked to people, he healed people, yes. he went out and had fun with people. Absolutely. He talked to people and told them they can live a better life. Amen. So that's Amen. that's work in the community. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 Doctor, um, I know I know your your church, you're a great pastor. He's doing a great light over on East Seven Mile. Mm -hmm. I don't I want you to tell them where your church is at, right. how they get involved in the ministry. All and right. also, uh, you have a youth ministry where these men have acres and acres of um land and horses that we can take advantage of and, and they always say our kids ain't got nothing to do Amen. let them know about that and how they get involved so we can have something to do for the kids absolutely absolutely uh, I pastor the Church of Our Father Baptist at 5333 East 7 Mile 5333 that's it and that's between um, Ryan Beautiful. Road and Mound Road on yes. East 7 Mile Road mm -hmm. um, our church focuses on family ministry Mm -hmm. uh, we have a children's ministry, a children's church, so that we can empower them to have godly principles, so that Amen. they can have values, and that they can learn how to conduct themselves in an intelligent way in a troubled world in Amen. which we live in. Absolutely. And we present Christ to them. Absolutely. And, and we thank God for the church. The church has been uh, established and organized for 78 years. Our church has mm. been doing ministry in the okay. city of Detroit yes. and developing disciples to do missions work all around the world. Mm -hmm. And we thank God for that. Um, we own a campus, not just our church. There's right. a, the Metropolitan District Baptist Association. We own a camp that's in Grass Lake Township, Jackson, Michigan, and Leone Township. It's in three counties. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate the camp has been underdeveloped and underutilized. We developed in the camp so that we would have uh, activity centers there. We got dorms there. We have a, a conference center there. We have horses there. And we create different activities for the young people to wow. come to know Christ through nature Amen. and, and for the whole family. Amen. We want to empower Amen. our people to recognize there's unlimited potential in their life if they have a right relationship with God because he's the source Amen. of all of our resources Praise and he God. wants us Amen. to be empowered in every area of life and our families to know that there's nothing that God cannot do. I, I share Amen. with them that there was those that came from the South that mm -hmm. recognized a need for our people to have a place to get away from the hustle and the bustle of the city and hear the serenity, the peace of God, and children to have their 
first opportunity to catch a fish in life wow. that have never been fishing. Wow. Opportunity to see frogs, to see turkeys, Amen. to Amen. see deer in nature firsthand, not hear what somebody else say or not see it on mm. television, but have a firsthand experience and say that I seen that for myself. I caught my first fish there. <laughs> yeah. I was taught yeah. how Amen. to do camping at Carver Camp. Yeah. And so we want people what to What a life-changing ministry. Uh, and, and Pastor, I know we're, gonna, we're getting ready for the uh, second half of our show. We had the legendary John Dawson in the Amen. house. He's Amen. Been, they went from Aretha Franklin to Michael Jackson. and uh, He's done some powerful things out here in the community. Uh, uh, also, I have Angelo. Angelo, is uh, he's Mr. Internet. He's our social media director. He's looking to take us to the next level. Amen. So, see, we got to be in tune with all the things God has for us to do. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm not turning my nose up at anyone. And, and wouldn't it be great if you could be the smallest eye in your equation, mm -hmm. but be submissive to God? So, so therefore, the electricity flows all through the products that you have. Amen. In Amen. other words, humble us, Lord, as we come to your throne of grace. Humble us as we go out on our missions Amen. and our ministries. Humble us to be able to see the grace that you have for us. And then those unearned blessings, which is grace. Amen. Amen. Let Amen. them shine down on our city and our state and our, and our country today. Amen. Because for a time such as this. For a time exactly. such as this. And it's not, to, to me, this, this, the end, yes. But this is the beginning of that thing. Amen. Where, Amen. where eyes have to be open. Amen. Yes. Because every knee about every tongue confess what God said, I believe in. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's so, it. So. How's he going to get it to happen? Sometimes some of us have to be whipped with a bigger stick than others. Amen. Because we hard here. Yeah, and mm -hmm. pray. We have to pray for one another. Amen. Pray for your children. Cover them. Pray for your government. God gave us his word. He told us what to do. Mm. Prayer changes things. I don't care what mm. nobody says. Yes. Prayer will change things. You know, you got to be quiet and listen to God. He speaks. He's real. He's, he's He died, but he rose again. He's still living, you know. And he's praying for us that we don't lose our faith. Because you get so discouraged sometimes, but... He said, don't lose your faith. You know, I'm thinking about piggybacking off Amen. the doctor. Like, he was, I was reading my, in Colossians today how um, it's nothing too hard for God. No, it's not too hard. Nothing, nothing too hard for God. Put a pin on that. Amen. And we're going to repeat that. It's nothing too hard for God. Nothing, nothing too, hard. too hard for God. Uh, you, 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 you're being encouraged today. Hallelujah. And I know we got to get ready for, for our last 10 minutes. So we're going to call this. I'm just thankful to have my brother back. Amen. Amen. Glad it's to be here. It's so Glad good to, to have you here, Amen. sis, too. You Amen. Know. God bless and, uh, you, brother. you guys will be here when I'm not a lot of times because she's, she's standing in as one of our, and been faithful. Amen. Praise it's God. It's one of our, our main interviewees good, that comes good. on. And, uh, and uh, listen, you guys stay tuned. You watch United Gospel Explosion TV because when you combine God's people, Amen. when you combine this gospel, it just explodes into great Amen. things. Amen. Amen. Total Home Amen. Improvement we'll Company right presents the spring blowout special of the season. Remodel your kitchen, bathroom, basement, plus flooring specials for every room. Call 313-728-2025 for your free in-home estimate today. Mention this commercial and get 10% off your project. Call 313-728-2025. Remodel your home today. Total Home Improvement, the company you call for your home improvement needs. Bon Appetit Elegant Catering, elegant at your service. We cater for all occasions. Weddings, birthdays, proms, homegoing service, graduations, family reunions, and all occasions. For the best catering in the Midwest, call Bon Appetit, 313-444-5048. Bon Appetit Elegant Catering. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Look, we had a great uh, first two segments of this show. Denise Agu, and Agu, I'm sorry, and uh, Reverend Bowles, Pastor Bowles at 53337-mile, East 7-mile. You guys got to get out to these ministries. Um, we're not a physical church, but there's so many different pastors that's involved with this with this ministry, United Gospel Explosion TV, and community leaders. And let me tell you something. Uh, I got to bring in some highlights from Metro Youth Day. I just got to say this, uh, uh, Mr. Legend, John, listen, uh, Metro Youth Day had 30,000 kids on Bell Isle this week. And uh, I don't know if y'all know, but uh, uh, this was our last youth uh, um, idol 
uh, talent show that we had put together. And they came straight out of here. Barbara Jean Johnson, Steve Thompson, everybody, uh, Ed D, Michigan Food of Beverly. Everybody was there, and it meant so much to those young people. Let's give them something to do. And uh, our theme for this particular this particular segment, and I have, and, and let me just explain something. Um, Mr. Legend, the president, we have a president of the of the administrative president of United Gospel Explosion TV. And the reason why this man is acting in this capacity is because he's done worldwide type projects. And uh, we're looking for him to bring some of that inference into here. And like I said, I'm the smallest eye in the bunch. Everybody you see here have, have greater potential than me in so many ways. But God just blessed me to be over this thing. So I'm putting people in power around me that, 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 uh, um, that can go out and move this thing forward, and that's how it should be in God's ministry. I don't, I don't, I. If I'm not here at all, this thing is going and moving. I see Mr. Herman; he's doing the baddest cameraman. He here videoing us. Um, uh, we got R.J. Watkins on the team. Strat. So many beautiful people are part of this ministry that that's unsung heroes. And I'm saying, have your way, Lord. Go ahead and take it and run with it, uh, Mr. Legend. Just let them know um, what you've been doing, and and really, I love you. I love your spiritual thoughts as well. As far as you know, the great tragedies we had with with the police shootings uh, of the of the young um, of the of the young black males over the last couple of weeks, and then with the police actually being shot themselves, uh, innocence as we know right now. But still called into this line of, uh, I want to say, unfinished business. It was a tragedy, uh, you know, and my respect goes out to the families that uh, experienced that. You know, it's a great loss to all the families, and my heart's with them. Uh, you know, back in uh, a couple of years ago, you know, I did the directing. I'm a director. Mm -hmm. Oh, of director. course you are. No, sir. And... Uh, the movie is called A Clear View, and that one of the first situations that I got involved in with the black shootings, they sent me all the court records over, and the gentleman's name was Mark Anthony Barmore, happened in Rockville, Illinois, mm -hmm. and we did the movie, I directed the movie, one of the first situations we with the, he got shot down inside of a church. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. In front of a daycare, mm -hmm. with 15 to 20 little children watching. Mm -hmm. And the police came into the church and shot him down, unarmed. Wow. Terrible. So we did the movie. I directed the movie. Currently directed the movie right now called On My Block. We start shooting tomorrow. Right. And, uh, you know, that's basically what I did. You know, plus, we did some things out of town together. You oh, and yeah, I sure, down sure, there in sure. We, so we're the, we're blessed big, to go if you're cool. There's some big productions down there. Part so of that, um, we're going back again in September. So. Okay. No, basically, that's where I'm currently where I'm at now. I'm getting my know. traveling shoes ready. You know that oh, yeah, yeah, I'm at your service, you Mr. Dawson, <laughs> and, and our cameras and things. But uh, uh, now, I, I, I guess what I'm saying is, and, 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 and I'm bringing in the the media on this end, Angelo, uh, I call him Dr. Angelo because he's worked for some of everybody. He's made uh, social media uh, for some of so many different uh, groups. Mr. Internet, uh, I coined that phrase with him. Coach Angelo is uh, works hard on that level with the Mr. Internet Inc. and uh, and different things. I know he set us up. If you see our stuff on video out there and the different ministries, what we're looking for right now is to get into the live streaming capacity. Uh, Angelo, where are we going with that as far as having this ministry be able to touch the world in different ways? What, what's what's new in live stream that we'll take advantage of here? Well, the live streaming is everywhere today, and it's a lot more accessible since everybody has devices. Um, you know, years ago, you were at home on your computer, but now everybody has a smartphone. Mm -hmm. And we'll be broadcasting directly to smartphones oh, right excellent. out of the studio all over the world. Excellent. And uh, also, um, I know Pastor Biles and some of my other uh, pastor friends, they want the ability to archive these shows. And, and you had talked about that, too. So yeah. you can look back in oh, definitely. and see your shows on there. And I know you have a lot on there right now. If they, if you guys Google United Gospel Explosion TV, you can even Google it. And when you see uh, one of the icons come up with one of the shows on it, the thing is right now you go in and it's a little icon in the upper left that you would click on and, and increase it. 
And when you right. tap on there, you'll see all the shows archived. Well, he's working on a way to make that process easier. So we're yeah. getting ready for tomorrow as well as today, right? Yeah, plus, this a uh, perfect opportunity for me to say, um, for all of the people out there who are trying to view the shows online, um, he, you, you were just describing that the upper left-hand corner. Now, keep in mind that on your telephone, it's really small. And you can, you know, spread it out with your two fingers and make it larger. But in the upper left-hand corner, it's very tiny. But if you hit it, it'll drop down and show a menu which you can scroll up and down and pick any of the archive shows that are being added. And they're constantly being added shortly after today. This episode will be added. Absolutely, absolutely. And so that's what we've been doing. And I'm just so glad to bring all the nuts and bolts together. Um, listen, we have a mission to give these messages of peace to the world. And I know uh, you guys do all types of productions everywhere, but isn't it good when you can pull God's people on your team for the specifics of what we're doing? And I know uh, myself and Pastor Biles, who's my media partner in these particular shows, we're going to spread out to other shows. And, um, and I know that right now... Um, uh, Mr. Legend is looking for sponsors for us for the shows on a certain level. And, and, and if you want to get become part of the show, if you have a talent, we're going to be showcasing talent. We have some award things coming up later in the year. Give us a call at 313-728-2025. That's 313-728-2025. You can become a part of United Gospel Explosion TV. Hopefully we can help you springboard off and start your own ministry. Uh, Pastor Biles will have his own hours and uh, so much time, whatever they want on here. I'm not here to hold you down. I'm here to build you up because what God got for you, he already gave it to you. And I like to just be an instrument. Guys, y'all listen to United Gospel Explosion TV. And I guess the message is stay positive, stay focused. In the midst of the storm, look for the calm spot. That calm spot is Jesus. That calm spot is God. And just stop and meditate for a moment because this too will pass. But at the end of the day, let's get to loving on each other. The greatest commandment is love ye one another. Because if we go to loving each other, you ain't got to worry about us killing ourselves or tearing nothing up or destroying each other. Let's love each other. And if you are different races looking at each other, look for the commonalities more than the differences. And learn to love, Lord. Help us to love and build ourselves up. Well, that's your prayer we're leaving you with today. And remember, he's not just your light. He's not. He's also your salvation. Brothers, thanks for coming in. I'm going to grab hands. And You're watching United Gospel Explosion. United Gospel Explosion. Today.